update you about our women's event. We had a fantastic time on Saturday um, hearing from Jules Kendall about her um, testimony of how God has brought him and her along on a journey to church planting and we had some fantastic time of worship with Tim and Anna and Cumby and all in all it was a brilliant event. If you'd like to come along to our next one, do email me and I can let you know the details, but we have a breakfast coming up soon, so look out for those details. Thanks. This month's monthly news is focused primarily on prayer, because from May the 15th to the 19th, we're gonna be given time for a week of prayer together as a church family. And there's loads of different ways that we're gonna be encouraging you to pray over that week. Uh, firstly, over the coming Sundays, you're going to have the opportunity to pick up our Prayer Week devotional. This is a really excellent resource that journeys through the Lord's Prayer. And every day it's got a section of the Lord's Prayer, it's got an encouragement, and then it's got a kind of guided section of prayer. And so can I really encourage you to pick these up and to walk through the Lord's Prayer during our week of prayer. Even if you do it on your own, or you do it on your lunch break, or you do it on your commute, or you do it with your family at home, however you do it, it means that we're all doing it together. And I think that, that will be a really powerful thing. Also, look out during the week for some videos that will land in your inbox and on YouTube. They're gonna be encouraging us to pray for Basingstoke and the people and the places that you interact with most for gospel breakthrough in their lives. And then can I encourage you to make as many as possible of our prayer gatherings. So we've got kind of four extra prayer gatherings during that week. So on Monday the 15th, uh, we're going to be gathering together for an evening of extended praise and worship. Our band is going to be leading us for the whole time. We're going to be pressing into the presence of God. We're going to be uh, expecting God to speak to us through powerful prophetic words. Can I encourage you to be there on Monday the 15th? Uh, on Tuesday, the following day, the 16th, we have a daytime prayer gathering together. That's at the flood zone from 10 to 11 uh, in the morning. Uh, if you can make that, please do. It'd be lovely to pray with you. And then on the Wednesday evening and the Friday evening of that week, uh, we're going to be gathering together for prayer uh, from 7.30 to 8.30 uh, p.m. And again, we're going to be pushing into things in the life of the church and we're praying over one another. Uh, these are going to be really powerful times for us. We believe that prayer is at the heart of everything that we do as a church. We cannot step into the things that God is calling us to without his power. And we cannot know what God is calling us to if we're not coming in prayer regularly. So can I encourage you, please, come and pray with us as much as you can over that week. Recently, one of the things that we've been uh, laying out is how we're praying for the building project that we've got going on. Uh, and so Ed's gonna share a little bit more about that now. So a few weeks ago, we shared something on a Sunday morning, shared a document with you, uh, which we're calling the steps to the building plan. And the, the idea was this, uh, building projects are very complicated things. And, and in a world of technical conversations and, and submissions and regulations, sometimes it can be a bit tricky to get a feel for where we are in the project. And so we wanted to um, simplify that so that we can communicate clearly that there are four steps between now and us using the building as a home for the mission to meet in, worship in and serve our town from. And so um, when I mentioned that document, here's the four steps. Step one, some finalise some details with the builder. Uh, step two, was about securing the finance with our preferred lender. Step three was about the build itself. And step four was about that moving phase as we get used to it as a, a new home for us as Mosaic. And so when I discussed it on the Sunday morning, I mentioned that there's really two sets of two steps. And I wanted to both share that with you again so that you've got it and are reminded of it and could be praying, but also to give an update. So steps one and two kind of come together. And this week, uh, work started as the contractor started the strip out of the building and they've already made a huge amount of progress, which is great. So please be praying for that aspect of step one and also some of the last, last week and this week, some important information has gone in to our preferred lender. And so we'd really appreciate you praying as they consider what we've put in front of them. And I'd also ask uh, when I mentioned it on that Sunday morning to say that critical to us, no matter 
when we get in there and we pray these steps through together and celebrate as we move forward, to also be praying alongside that, that God would continue to set our hearts on the here and now, that we'd be fruitful where we are in reaching those around us and doing one another plenty of good. So please be praying for all of those things this week.